Hello friends, how are you? Hope you are fine and doing good. So how was your CSM preparation? Hope I am, I believe it must be going awesome. Everything will be on track. You must be meeting all your goals. You must be achieving all your specific goals for per day or for a week. I mean, have you started creating the, uh, the milestones for your uh, uh, daily task or at least for week? If not, you can start i have created a separate video for the strategy and planning you can uh, just have a look of that video and uh, that will help you to create the csm plan if you have any queries any question you can whatsapp me you can see this is my whatsapp number 9619094404 and you can also mail me on my email id which is help at vision and goal.com mind you friend there is one more and right so there is a two and here so you can mail me you can whatsapp me and i will try to help uh, solving your questions or queries right so let me start the video the very first point which we will be covering as a part of cism preparation series is from the very first domain which is information security governance right so this is the paid video for those students who have not subscribed yet, they will be getting some part of the video because uh, uh, for the paid subscriber, I will be uh, I will be sharing this video the complete length, right? Otherwise, it will be available for uh, uh, a small length of the video, right? You can contact me for the paid subscription, right? There are certain benefits also, but before that, let me tell you what are the things we will be covering as a part of introduction for today's video we will be covering the understanding of information security governance what's the meaning of governance specifically what the what is the meaning of security policy what is the security policy in fact in fact what is the policy right we also understand the meaning of a standard the meaning of business cases right other than this we will also touch information security program, senior management prospect view and others, right? So these are the some high level things which we will be covering in today's uh, session, right? Now, let me tell you what are the benefits if somebody has paid for this CISM preparation series. So the benefit number one is, first of all, I will be explaining the detailed explanation of CISM review manual from the recommended book of ISACA, which is CISM Review Manual 15th edition. That is the recommended book by ISACA. If you want to crack the CISM exam, this book is something which you have to have, right? How to study, what to study, what's the plan? That I'm going to explain you also as my second benefit that I will support you in making the strategy. I have already created a video I, as I mentioned few moments back. So I will also help you in making the strategy and plan and that too based on your convenience, based on your availability, right? I will also discuss with you in person that too on call. I'm not saying by writing text. No, you can call me twice in a month on my whatsapp number i have already shared my whatsapp number that is plus nine one that's india prefix and then nine six one nine zero nine double four zero four so using that you can call me twice in a month and that is only for the paid subscriber right so that's the benefit number three the fourth benefit is, is in-depth explanation of mock questions I am saying in depth, in depth explanation. That means I will be explaining the options. Why, let's say A is correct and why B, C or D is not correct. The reason being why uh, uh, these things is not correct, what the thought process we should develop, right? So I will help you to develop the thought process. Plus, what are the things you should not supposed to think when solving any questions, right? 
so these are certain things which i will be helping you to understand the question while explaining in depth analysis of those questions right so that's the benefit number 4 the five the fifth benefit is the most crucial i would say from above all four all uh, uh, the fourth benefit is itself is one of the very important thing but i personally believe the fifth one is the most crucial i am telling you why because if you are very good in 1 2 3 and 4 even then if the fifth is not work for you then again there will be a challenge that you need to work it out so the fifth point is i will help you to study i will help you to make a strategy for the final week of your exam i will share certain tips with you i will share what to do and what not to do that is very important in fact i would say what not to do is very important during your final exam during sorry during your final week of exam right so this is very important what not to do right so this is the five benefit if i am saying in a nutshell there must be some more benefits which you got to know as soon as we move forward right so this is the certain points which i want to share for the paid subscriber now friends you want to see my all csm preparation videos that i have already mentioned i have already uploaded on video but you can uh, sorry yeah, i have already uploaded on youtube but you can also find on my uh, one of uh, uh, this url which i am highlighting now which is tinyurl.com/cism preparation let me just move my image aside just a second yeah so you can just need to go so you require to go to tinyurl.com/cism preparation and there you can find my all videos what i prepared so far for cism preparation right so this is all about some benefits so let's get started with our first topic which is cism prep series domain 1 information security governance right so we'll start with the introduction part so friends for the information security to effectively address for nowadays we'll be having ever growing challenges of providing the adequate protection of assets right so we require to have a adequate protection of information asset so how do we do that so for that an information security strategy is utmost important it is essential and what is this strategy is all about this strategy is a document this strategy is a document and this document gives the direction and goal for the information security program so this will give the direction and goal for the information security program right now who gives this direction who gives this goal this is been determined by the senior management senior management determined the direction and goal for the information security program now subsequently the strategy also provide the baseline for or to implement the effective in formation security governance right so this strategy whatever we have just learned this is going to be give a baseline for the information security governance so you need to understand that for information asset we must have to have the information security strategy in place and that is nothing but a document the document gives the direction and goal and for for the information security program and which is been determined by the senior management 
and on a whole this strategy this information security program direction goals this will give the baseline for the information security governance right this is what we have just learned now what is governance see point number 2 governance is broadly defined as a rule rule of what rules who run the organization run the organization right and this include policies standard and procedure right and these policy standard and procedure are used to set the direction this will give the direction and control of what of organization activity right so this policy standard and procedure gives the direction and control of the organization activity right now the very first step or the very first thing in establishing the information security governance is senior management who determine the outcome right so senior management is determine the outcome outcome from from where from the information security program for example let's say you are information security manager and you are proposing a information security program but the outcome is based on the determination of the senior management right now how do you decide the outcome will be what right in fact you means here Uh, let's say a joint uh, uh, coordination between you senior management and the business head business unit head right so the often these outcome are stated in terms of two ways first is risk management and another one is the level of acceptable risk right outcome is based on these two things first is risk management and based on the second thing is what will be the acceptable risk level for that organization right so far so good let me know if you have any doubt in the comment section right now this can be accomplished through the set of facil facilitated meeting with the senior management and business unit head just now we explained to know the outcome to know the risk management to know the level you have to have a multiple meetings with the business unit head and the senior management right now the information security manager then has a good information good information for what for 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 having to develop a set of requirement based on his meetings meetings i don't know how to erase it just second let me try to erase first uh pointer eraser yeah And then pointer pen yeah so sorry highlighter my bad pointer and felt pen yeah so based on the data based on the information what he received while having a multiple meeting with the senior management and business unit leaders he require or he make a document which contains the set of requirement right for the security program for the let's say security program right and this is followed by the series of specific objective and when achieve will say our requirement is satisfied right so an element of developing the strategy is to develop objective when we say objective we are talking about the desired state right what management is actually looking for right so that comes under our desired state right that's the first thing 
then the desired state is based on the outcome set by the senior management and a variety of frameworks nowadays are available through which you can make a desired outcome or the desired state this outcome and the level of acceptable risk should be determined and used to set the control objective after that the information security manager can determine what need to be done to move